Hey, it's me again. This uh, video has to do with mirrors and what they're really about. Now, I'm going to just make this fast because I'm getting tired. I just came from work. Mirrors are a gateway or a doorway to other portals and dimensions. I don't know if you've ever seen any movies with people whose spirits were trapped in uh, mirrors, but there's different dimensions in mirrors that people don't know about. And I hate to scare you, but when you look through a mirror, just know whether you believe me or not, something or someone is looking back at you. And, oh, yeah, here's the other thing. I don't know if you ever heard this term, your image can get caught in a mirror or your soul can get trapped in a mirror. That's true. Because a lot of the time, your image is being captured by many different spiritual entities you ain't even aware of. And they can mock your image through that mirror and take it. And so whenever they feel like they want to play mind games with, with you, there you go. You got your image. They got it. Second thing is, mirrors can literally capture you in them. What do I mean? You look in the mirror. You see you're super beautiful. You're super hot. You're super attractive. You don't want to leave that mirror because you're so busy worshiping. You're idolizing yourself. Like, oh, my goodness. I am so pretty. I am so handsome. I am so beautiful that you get trapped in that mirror. You never want to leave because you're so, you know, you're just worshiping your you know, your good genetics and all that. Or you could be a non-attractive person and be kind of always picking out your flaws and you find one thing after the next to beat yourself up about. Or you could just be a paranoid person who's in between attractive and just has a lot of facial acne or scars or whatever. And every time you look in the mirror, you're finding a new flaw about, you know, about yourself to beat yourself up about. Then you're all self-conscious and don't, you know, you don't believe in yourself. That's what I'm saying. Mirrors can trap your soul. So I'd be careful about how often you look in mirrors, man. And sometimes you might see something in the mirror that ain't really there or is just not on this side. So, yeah. And if I, and if you're one of the people that likes to go in the mirror, I'm going to go in the bathroom and turn the lights off and chant a uh, entity or a demon's name, just know... There's a doorway through that mirror, and every time you say their name, you're opening the doorway, you're opening the doorway, you're opening another doorway. Then, there you go. So please stop disrespecting spirits, because trust me when I tell you, they don't deserve it. Stop doing it. You don't want nobody just coming to your house constantly knocking on your door for no reason, and then you're trying to relax or understand yourself as a person people keep knocking on your door when you're trying to chill i don't think you i don't think you'd like to be bothered in your house so don't bother them in theirs because you don't trust me you are not gonna like it if they actually feel like answering you and then they do then they get tired of you calling them so they just snatch you through the mirror and then no one knows where you went you could be looking through that mirror looking at someone that can't see you you can see them but they don't see you one side of that mirror just looks regular to the other side of the doorway. But you're trapped on the other side and can't no one see you. So unless you want to go missing and no one can find you, stop doing that. Stop disrespecting the spirits. Because trust me, you don't want to you don't want to piss off the spirit. Because if the spirit wants it, it will come after you and haunt you and never stop. And no one but you will know it's doing it. And anyone you try to tell will call you crazy. Because realistically, people are taught not to even believe in stuff like that. So careful. I'm out.